myself. My name is Zoltan Balog and I am from the uh, Department of Informatics, uh, Natural Sciences and Informatics, uh, Constant Fields of University in Nitra. Uh, uh, this is my, I would like to uh, present my, my uh, topics and my presentation. Uh, the name of the presentation is Use of Internet of Things Technology in the Pedagogical Process. Uh, this is the context of my presentation. Uh, I would like to say uh, something about the problems what uh, we researched uh, about the Internet of Things, uh, what is the sensor networks, uh, measurement of uh, physiological function, uh, classification of emotional state. Uh, I introduced some experiments and uh, how to adapt the learning system, the, the results, and some uh, future works. Okay, uh, where is our department? Uh, uh, it is very important uh, to know if you come to visit us to Slovakia. Not Slovenia, Slovakia. Uh, Slovakia it is a uh, middle of the Europe, uh, and uh, the, the, our department is in Nitra. Nitra is the uh, oldest uh, town in uh, Slovakia, and this is my university. And uh, there is my office. There is my office, okay. Uh, and ah, Vincent does is here, but uh, I uh, would like. Uh, make some advertisement. The next year will be uh, the same good conference, probably the best conference in uh, Slovakia, <laughs> uh, TY uh, 2024. Uh, I would like to invite to, to this uh, uh, conference. Uh, it's not true. <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay. Now, uh, I would like to uh, present my research question. I have many questions, but uh, I have three important questions. How we can use IoT system uh, to collect data from physiological uh, state? How we can classify emotional state uh, from the physiological state? And how we can adapt learning processes if we identify the emotional state? Uh, the Internet of Things uh, it is the last, uh, late, latest and most improved concept in the field of uh, IT. Uh, this is a technological revolution uh, that presents the future of uh, computer technology. The Internet of Things is uh, now an uh, inseparable part of everyday life. and. Uh, support for uh, process automation. Uh, we, we can uh, identify the IoT or Internet of Things in uh, industry, in uh, customers and, and every day of life. Now uh, we have probably uh, uh, 50 billion uh, things uh, to connect to the Internet and uh, sending many and many data. Uh, using uh, various uh, IoT, uh, it is uh, possible to create own sensory networks. Uh, this sensory network able to measure physiological function, uh, like uh, smart watches or uh, smart wheel brands and and other other devices. Uh, it is able to capture surrounding and. Uh, uh, there is many data acquisition based on uh, requirements. 
and there is a small note uh, everywhere uh, surrounding. The usage of sensor networks, uh, we can use sensor networks at, in the home, uh, increase the security and the automation processes. Uh, then uh, in industry, uh, speeding up uh, the production process. Uh, probably in a healthcare, uh, tracking the health and uh, uh, of the patient in real time. The sensory networks exist in uh, education, the modernizing the teaching through the uh, ICT. Okay, uh, according to survey by uh, Ferdicas at, at all, uh, which provide a classification of emotional states uh, based on basic models, they identified 66 of some emotion. Uh, the emotional state divided two parts, uh, two groups of 10 for emotion, uh, the basic emotion, emotions and uh, 56 secondary emotion. This is a uh, classified Russell's circuit model and uh, we have uh, uh, another an models um, uh, I told about. Uh, with the classification of emotional styles we have some problems. Uh, the problems are with the evaluation of emotion uh, from the, the data choose uh, for measurement method and evaluation results and choose the right hardware and software for, for the measurement. Uh, automatic emotion recognition is uh, usually performed by measuring Various parameters of human body. This is a electroencephalography. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, measurement of skin uh, resistance or GCR, galvanic uh, skin resistance, blood pressure, uh, heart rate, uh, eye tracking, uh, and some motion analysis. Uh, we assume that. Uh, in the beginning of the method selection, it's necessary to define uh, if we are uh, interested in a conscious or unconscious uh, response. The conscious, uh, it is uh, uh, like um, so like survey, uh, and uh, unconscious, it's uh, uh, some sensors who uh, which, uh, which measure some uh, physi physiological state. The physiological state uh, or uh, uh, evaluate from uh, uh, classification uh, the emotional uh, state from this data it's more objective. <coughs> uh, we set the research uh, processes. First, we uh, had to set up uh, sensors, measurement of physiological function, then transfer uh, of collected data, then uh, data processing under a specified condition. Uh, very important is data evaluation, uh, feedback, and, uh, uh, and modification of data, and then visual, uh, visualization of uh, processes uh, data. Uh, we look at the combination of uh, sensory networks in healthcare uh, and uh, education, uh, and we focus on measuring physiological function. The devices which would students were have from the, the VSPRINT or the other variable devices which do not disturb, uh, disturb them at uh, work. 
uh, it's very important for us uh, to use non-invasive uh, IoT uh, devices. Uh, how does it work? It is very simple. Uh, it's, there is some uh, LED uh, and uh, photo detector and <coughs> like, uh, like in uh, with brands or smart watches. Uh, the principle of this uh, technology is very simple and require only this light source and uh, this, this photo detector. Uh, we compare many uh, smart with brands and, and smart watches and we compare these smart watches with the uh, references. Uh, it, is, uh, it was a uh, uh, used in a healthcare it was water and uh, we was surprised surprised because the many wrist brands and watches was uh, uh, the accuracy was was very high uh, it was uh, 94 or 95 percent like uh, the reference water the the best of was uh, the smart uh, my smart band for and Fitbit uh, charge, but all of the uh, trends and, and smart watches was relatively accuracy. Uh, how we adapt the learning system? This is our vision. Uh, we used uh, Moodle-like learning management systems. And the students interactive uh, between between these uh, learning management systems. If uh, students have uh, sensors like uh, GCR or some with brands and some uh, some thermal cameras, which is not invasive, uh, the sensor sent to uh, controllers uh, and uh, make or. Um, Using, using some data from, from, these, uh, from these devices and send it to the cloud computing for, um, for, for making uh, data uh, analysis. Uh, after data analysis, or, uh, we, we put there uh, some machine learning or, or deep learning, uh, the system can be adapted for uh, new methods, styles, form, or, or materials, and uh, the, the feedback goes back to the to the Moodle, and the Moodle system can be adapted uh, for to the students' uh, physiological uh, state. Uh, how it work? Uh, the the process of identification of uh, physiological functions uh, and data processing and classification of emotional state. It is uh, on a field of uh, human-computer interaction. It's field of uh, intelligent uh, systems, uh, and uh, this is an interdisciplinary field. The emotional recognition approaches uh, from uh, uh, face uh, recognition or speech, uh, behavior, and physiological uh, signals. And we use the uh, Russell model, model, but the, our experiment we use ECMAS classification because ECMAS uh, defined uh, seven, uh, seven basic emotion, uh, six uh, emotion and neutral. Uh, the, the human, uh, we, we have uh, students which uh, was where a GCR sensor, uh, smart watches, thermal cameras, and there is a uh, facial recognition with our cascade. And uh, every uh, data goes to the server, and uh, uh, here is a uh, goes to, to the databases uh, using uh, database records for cross validation and training and testing machine learning models. Uh, based on a, a K 
calculated means uh, differences. We performed uh, analysis of students' uh, behavior during exercise of thermophysiological heart rate uh, function. Uh, you can see on the picture, uh, we, we can see the record heart rate during the, the teaching process, uh, subject of uh, operational systems. Uh, there is a uh, 10 minutes, uh, during the first 10 minutes, uh, we writing the exam. During the next part of lesson, uh, the heart rate is normalized. Uh, okay, uh, what, what is a future work? Now we um, made, uh, made a, a prototype of uh, uh, devices who uh, collect the, the data from smartwatches, from GCR, for thermal camera and uh, the face recognition and uh, uh, experiment with, with this data and uh, make some uh, deep learning of, of this uh, data set. And uh, uh, we evaluating the, this data. We had a, uh, uh, we, we have a um, psychology uh, doctor who analyzes this, this data and he is our uh, expert uh, and we, we can use for, for this uh, expert uh, system. And uh, the other future works, uh, it is uh, make some game therapy. It is a game who uh, adapt with uh, VR, uh, with the virtual reality, across the virtual reality, like uh, many phobias. Uh, this is a uh, arachnophobia or, or claustrophobia and so on and uh, we, we can measure the physiological state and feedback for the uh, VR uh, will be across the, this, this Arab system. And this is my uh, references what I used and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.